All right, here's an example. The integral of dx all over 5 plus 9x squared. So I notice I'm going to look for the pattern, and I'm going to look at the inverse trig functions. Um, and I'm noticing that this looks like du all over a squared plus u squared. All right, so my a is, hmm, what's my a? Well, this is 5 something squared. So how would I write that as something squared to get 5? It must be square root of 5. And what must u be? u must be 3x squared. All right? So when I looked at my pattern, du all over a squared plus u squared, that was equal to 1 over a arctan. I don't know if I have room here. u over a plus c. Okay, so do I have this a and my u all set? So now it's a matter of taking things apart and putting it in this format. 1 over a, well, we said a was square root of 5, times arctan of u. So what do we say u was? u has to be 3x, right? I, don't, I shouldn't really have written that, but that's how I got the 9x squared, right? So my u is 3x over a, which is square root of 5, plus a constant. And that's it. Let's look at another example. Now this one is a little different, and, and that's what you're going to find. You're not going to find those that fit perfectly into these patterns, as you know how all this substitution thing works. So I look at this and I go square root of u squared, e to the x would be my u, and then my a would be 1 squared. So when I look at my, my formulas, it looks like it could possibly be um, arc secant, but I don't have that u outside the radical. So let's just start, you know, doing some substitution. Let's say u is equal to e to the x. Because when I square that, I get e to the 2x. So that means du would be equal to e to the x dx. So if I am to substitute for dx, I would need an e to the x there. Or I could say du over e to the x is equal to dx. Mm -hmm. So let's see what this looks like. And then a, let's write a is equal to 1. All right, so let's see. Let's do some substituting, see what this looks like. Integral. Well, dx is now du over e to the x. I'm going to write it funky first. And then I have in the denominator the square root of u squared minus 1, which is my a. Hmm. Well, didn't I say u was equal to e to the x? So what if I do this? Change e to the x to u and write it so that it's not a complex fraction. So du is in my numerator. Bring e to the x to the bottom. Or, what did we say e to the x was u? Times the square root of u squared minus 1. Then, voila! It looks exactly like arc secant. So, with that substitution, Let's write my answer. 1 over a, what did we say a was? Yes, 1. So 1 over a, 1 times arc secant and absolute value of u. Well, what did we say u was? e to the x. Do I need absolute value bars? 
I don't think so. E to the X is always positive. And over A, which is just 1, plus a constant. So it turned out nice and simple, but there was all of this crazy substitution going on, right? All right, let's look at another one. All right, integral of x minus 3 all over the square root of 9 minus x squared. So I look at that denominator and I see an a squared and a u squared, but the numerator isn't simply du. So what can I do to manipulate this? Any ideas? Well, let's try separating the numerator. x all over the square root of 9 minus x squared dx minus, I'm going to take the 3 out because now I have dx all over square root of 9 minus x squared. So that looks like some new formula. 9 being my a and then u would be x so it looks like I have arc sine over here on the right. And then this here is just, looks like a normal u substitution. If there's such a thing as normal, let's see. I'm going to do my u substitution in red here. So I'm going to say for the first one, u, first part here, is equal to 9 minus x squared. That means du is equal to negative 2x dx. And I don't have a negative 2x dx, I have an x dx, so I'm going to put a negative 2 here. And then a negative 1 half out here. Alright, let's talk about u substitution for the second piece. u is equal to 3, oops, sorry, not 3, x, a is equal to 3. Right? And then, you know, that fits the pattern perfectly. So let's, let's integrate. I have negative one-half, and I have u prime over u to the one-half minus three, and I've got arc sine. of u over a, u we said is x, a is 3, plus c, I got a little more work to do. This right here, right, is really u to the negative one-half, and when I do reverse power rule, u to the negative one-half, sorry, when, yeah, u to the negative one-half, what do I get? I've got this one negative one-half here u to the negative one half, so it's going to be u add one, so I have u to the one half all over one half. And this just stays the same on the right. And so let's do this last substitution. This is going to cancel out this one half and this one half to be just negative. And what did we say u was? negative square root 9 minus x squared minus 3 arc sine x over 3 plus c. Okay, I hope you're writing notes. I know, I'm 9 minutes. And there are a couple other problems that have some funky completing the square. Oh, remember that from Algebra 2? We'll do that stuff in class. Alright guys, hope you're having a good weekend. See you Monday.